Hey, hey, monkeys, how you doing? Damien Keys here. Okay, let's talk Twitter and let's talk the top 10 Twitter tips for your band. Tip 10. Okay, stop. Why are you using Twitter? This is the most important question. You've got all of the realms of all of the social media platforms that you can use. Why are you jumping onto Twitter? Because you still have to bring value and Twitter can be a very time consuming platform. So what is it that you are going onto Twitter for? Because it has some really, really great features, but it does need consistency. Now you need to think about what it is that you're gonna use Twitter for, and it is for primarily communication and building relationships. Those two things are what Twitter is all about. Yes, you're gonna give your opinions, yes, you wanna tell the world about stuff, but building relationships and communication, now that is what Twitter is all about. Tip nine, target your audience. Just like every other social media platform, you still have to look at your demographic and target that audience. And what I see time and time again is people puking and regurgitating stuff on Twitter, which bears no resemblance to the value that you need to be bringing. So your audience and your demographic is key. If you are targeting musicians, if you are targeting 14 to 20 year old kids who are into metal music, if you're into hip hop, Whatever it is that you are bringing value to, you need to target the right audience and not just look at everyone in the entire world as a free for all. Tip eight, use the links, the bio, and the pictures wisely. That information is there for a reason. You've got two pictures, you've got links at the side, you've got a bio about yourself. Use that space wisely. That real estate is very, very important as a first impression, so when someone comes onto your Twitter, they can instantly see who you are and what you're about. Tip seven, stick to the 33% Twitter rule, the rule of thirds. You have got three things that you're gonna do on Twitter. You are gonna create original content. You are also gonna engage with people and you are gonna retweet stuff. Now these three things are all very important and if you just do one of them, then your Twitter is not gonna be very, very successful because it, it sticks to this rule of three. It's very important that you're being creative and original with your content. However, this platform is all about building relationships and engaging with people. And at the same time, when you're retweeting other people's posts, that brings value to other people and also it's a great conversation starter for you to be able to build those relationships. So the rule of thirds, the 33% rule, you need to be building your own creative content, you need to be engaging with people, and on top of that, you do need to spend some time looking for great content and retweeting it. Tip six, Twitter is a search engine, and it is a bloody good search engine at that. So you need to find these people that you can engage with via the search engine method. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna search for hashtags, you're gonna search for people, you're gonna search for things in people's bios, and then you're gonna touch base. Again, going back to building relationships. So whilst you're using that search engine to find the people that can bring you value, or even more importantly, you can bring them value, and then it's a case of touching base. And how are you gonna do that? You're simply gonna say, Say hello. Tip five, use photos. Believe it or not, Twitter is an amazing place to add photos. People think the photo should stay in Instagram and Twitter is all about the 140 characters. And that is not strictly true because when you add a photo to one of your tweets, you will get a lot more engagement. You'll get a lot more positivity and people seeing what you do and wanting to engage with you. Twitter is a fantastic way of adding photos in order to build these relationships and tell your own story. And what I wouldn't do is I wouldn't add your photos to Instagram and link it through to your Twitter because it's not as instant. So use the photo facility and videos, but use the photo facility on Twitter and you will start to get more engagement, more likes and more followers. Tip four, the hashtag. Hashtags are really, really important because as I said before, Twitter is a search engine. So if you are using relevant hashtags, and I mean relevant hashtags to your music, then people will find you. Look for things like festivals. If you're in a rock band and there's a rock festival on somewhere in the world, you should be using that as a hashtag. Be smart with your hashtags and allow people to find you the same ways you want to find other people. 
Tip three, it's completely acceptable to recycle your content. The reason being is most people won't see a lot of your content. People will see five, 10, 15, 20% of your content unless they click that bell, which let's face it is not many people. So therefore, when you're putting out great content, feel free to share it once or twice more than that. Just don't get caught up into regurgitating it again and again and again and verging on advertising because that doesn't bring value. That's value to yourself and not value to your Twitter audience. But if you've got something fun, funny, or interesting, or of value, then you should post it two or three times over a week. Tip two, automate a follow message. Now, I don't like automated messages. However, you will get to a point where people start to follow you on Twitter, and it is nice to send a message personally to them to say, thanks for following. Now, one thing I would not do is I would not try and sell them anything. I would not push them to a different platform. I would not tell them about my EP. What I would do is if I was gonna put an automated message on, it would simply say, thank you so much for following me. Is there anything I can do? Or is there any questions I can answer? Or just, I would love to talk to you, hit me up. Something, maybe a question. Make it so it doesn't feel like an automated response. And tip one, Twitter is your take on the world. So when you see things trending and you wanna jump on it, then one thing you don't wanna do is just retweet it because it's boring and it's been done hundreds or even thousands of times over that hour. But your take on something is very interesting. So if there is something trending, a great bit of news, and let's face it, Twitter is where everyone goes to consume news. If something like that happens, then jump on the trend, but make sure you put your spin on it so that makes it interesting for other people to want to get involved with you and decide if they want to follow your Twitter account. So that's my top 10 Twitter tips for bands and that's really difficult to say. So I would love it if you follow this YouTube, if you're, if you're subscribed to the YouTube, I would love it if you like it, I'd love it if you had a comment, if you've got anything else to add about Twitter, that would be great. I'm on Twitter, that's probably the best way that you can communicate with me. As I said, it's all about communication, building relationships. I am here to build relationships with you. Use that opportunity. So hopefully that's helped. Um, get yourself on Twitter, but make sure you do it for the right reasons in order to add value as opposed to just sell your album because it won't go well if you do that. Hope that helps. I'll see you guys tomorrow.